evening and spooky Halloween times. We're doing an endurance run. This is Until Dawn by Supermassive Games for PS4. Came out last year. Uh, I'm Rich, as always. I got Tom right here with me. What's up, Tom? I'm Tom. What's going on? We're going to be running through this. Uh, through it. Smooth runs. Always smooth runs. So we're going to try and play the whole game. We're, we don't intend to finish before Halloween. But if we did, that'd be pretty cool. But spooky, scary times. Yeah, so... For those of you who don't know what Until Dawn is, it's basically like a slasher film game, I guess. You know, you play as the teenagers, you jump back between your slasher oh, right. victims. Uh, yeah, I mean, you control... You, you make the decisions. I mean, if anyone knows Telltale, same... Yeah, similar idea to those sort idea. of games. Very cool idea. I always enjoy these kinds of games. All right, I'm gonna start um, things off. Every time a character switch happens, we're gonna pass the controller. So, here we go. I mean, yeah, new story. I mean, our ultimate goal for this is saving every character. I'm not married to the idea. We can cut them pretty easily. It, it's entirely possible it's we we lose some of them or even all of them. I mean, it is possible to save them all, but it's also possible to kill them all. So. See what happens. The smallest decision can dramatically change the future. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah. My eyes look a lot of bright. I don't know if I can handle this. I'm in control of these <laughs> these teenagers' lives, and I I, I don't want to hurt any of them. See how the night goes. I don't know the personalities yet. I got it to adjust Tom's mic. It is what it is. Yeah, we'll live with it. We'll do our best. This is in no way the second time we're recording this. Because we fucked up the audio. It might be. But, uh, I mean, that'd just be stupid, and we're not that. Nah, nah. Nah, I know what I'm doing. I mean, granted, we both did play this oh game God, when it came out, but it, it's been some time. I don't, I don't remember don't you guys all of it. I remember girl. some parts. Come on, she deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah's been making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, and... Just because he's class pres doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. I am. I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. She's not anybody's man, dude. They all just want to have fun, right? So immediate thought from the top of your head. Who deserves to die already? Uh, I mean... Who coming? Hannah! <laughs> I'll leave it up to those commenting. The end of this video. Tell me who you think we deserve to kill off. I mean, granted, we'll already have killed them by the time we put this up, but. <laughs> Mike. Really no sense in it. It's Hannah. No, but it's always fun hey, to comment. Hannah. Is it fun to comment? Might be. Who's that spooky, scary guy? Did you see that? Dad said it, it just uh, be us this weekend. Oh, nice. It's always cool to see a special Josh. guest. Alright, I'm playing the game now. Video games. Okay, okay. We got these two uh, passed out guys. Fucking lightweights. What are they drinking? Probably garbage. It's garbage in my book. Jeez, Josh. Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. I mean, if outdoing, then it is passing out. We got our statuses. Get your character traits. Relationship statuses. Beth. Extremely cool person. See how your decisions might affect the future of the game. We got bonus 
bonus content. Which, I don't know, maybe we'll do a bonus episode or something at the end, but... Probably not. That right now. Too much bonus. What's the note say today? I mean, oh my God. no one writes like that. What no one writes like that, and they're all partying now. together. I mean, I just don't get it. They you couldn't have, uh, they, they do a phone, you couldn't have just texted her. I mean, couldn't have went up next to her and been like, seems more obvious that like, Maybe we should something's going on. You know, She's falling for a trap. And see where it goes from there. Going right for taking off the shirt. He just wants to oh make out. God. She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh, also, oh my God. a butterfly on her shoulder. Matt? For those who uh, What are you shadow. doing here? We're shadow. Uh, butterfly. Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. It's all got out of hand. Just a stupid prank. Uh. Oh, man, you guys are jerks. You know that? Hayden Pennant's game's right. They're jerks. Are they, though? I mean. It was a silly prank, but went too far. Well, here we go. First decision. I'm gonna find the others. Guys, there's someone outside. What the hell? What the hell? Yeah, I don't Anna? think there was any way Josh was waking up. What's yeah. going on? Where's my sister Way going? too, uh... It's fine. She just can't see the joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! You jerks! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Yeah, but you're gonna let two girls go out in a storm? Oh, shit. I mean, it's not really a storm. <sighs> you jumped that loud. But sometimes you gotta be safe. Flash on the What a hero. Both both are pretty bad. I mean, she says there's someone Damn, out there. Hannah, where are and you? then goes out to run after her sister. I mean I did see someone go towards the footprints. Logical choice. Then again. No, probably not. Logical would have been just not coming outside. Hannah made the choice to go outside. Not you. Yeah, you can. Hannah! Makes a bright light. Herself. Oh, here we go. First total. That was good. There are several different totems in this game. We got death, guidance, guidance loss, danger, and fortune. All leading to something different. So they're all about. Pretty much. I mean, they foreshadow, or are supposed to foreshadow, but I mean, each of those things. Either your character dying, getting fortune, losing a friend. 
Good deal. That fire, though. It's logical. Hannah. Hannah. I mean, to be fair, I don't know why there was any fire. Hannah. Oh my god, you must be freezing. But why is there a dragon in the forest? I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. That was something of a uh, prologue in able to avoid the death of those two characters. Yeah, well, I mean, when we said we were going to save everyone, Unable those two were unsavable. We didn't fail already. There are things I need no to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. How does he know what happened? You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember us. this. There is no one else in that room with game. me. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. Okay, so make good choices. I have fate. So, make good choices. You have He's giving me a lot of power here, game. and I don't, I don't do so well with power. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying. But I'm here to make sure that no matter I'm how upsetting them. things may be, I want to see what's uh, what's so scary. You will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right, we will start with a simple exercise. Let's get it going. Could you please pick up cart? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. it. It is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. I will answer you honestly. Okay. We got a we got a creepy looking scarecrow so, and a barn behind them. How did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Honestly, it did not. I feel happy. That does not make me feel happy. I mean, but you're, you're look at it. It's your call. Does that make you feel happy? Would I be a psychopath if it made me feel happy? I don't know, I don't know that we should hang out anymore. But... <laughs> what? I mean, Scarecrow is. Uh, would I spend my time at that place all by myself? I don't know. With friends? I don't know Maybe. If that's the question. I mean, it's not like it's dark. I mean, part of it's dark. I don't know why. I don't know if that's a shadow. It's a shadow. Uh, daytime, it's not creepy. The scarecrow is very. Dr. A.J. Hill. Yes. You know what? Well, it's, okay. it's a little uneasy. A Honesty little bit. is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? I mean, I did say the scarecrow. I can agree with that. 
I think it's a whole thing, but the scarecrow is kind of the center of that I picture. See. Yeah, it's very Let's out there. See. It's... The scarecrow were not there. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Say we. No. As I said before, no. I don't think I would stay there alone. No, I would not. No, you don't. No, I wouldn't. Not by myself. Oh no. Why Why not? This guy get his degree. Why is he asking? Like, see how he's asking me these questions. It's like he's up to something, and I don't like it. Is both an option? I would feel both. I'd be scared, and I'd also be lonely. Huh. But which one's worse? I'd be scared. Lonely. I'd be scared. Is there scared. something else in that picture that scares you? He's up to something, and I don't like it. No. Just a scarecrow. That's interesting. Well, I'm afraid we're out of time for now. That's very please, interesting. I would like you to contemplate what it is that it's missing from that picture. Hmm? That thing that's driving you fear. It's the scarecrow. We need to what does he not understand? You agree? The sky. But the next time. Hmm. I don't understand it. He's up to something. No, he's gonna go stare out his window. Contemplate life. It's a nice window. It's not Do you think it opens on like a bay? That'd be nice. Make it even better. From Sony Computed Entertainment America. This is the weirdest prologue to a Crash Bandicoot game ever, by the way. I mean, maybe we should be playing Crash. Crash Let's play some Crash Team Racing. We have everything we need to do that. Let's get it going. Just wait for the remasters. Yes, no. I don't know if they're re Are they remastering uh, Crash Team Racing or just the uh, Crash games? Yeah, it was announced in E3. No, no, just the uh, Crash 1, 2, 3. Yeah. That's what I thought. My girl hated Penetrator. Well, what is this? Please comment that. Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful I can't tragedy that took Grant place Ward on Mount Washington. I mean, uh, Mike. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, yeah. the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old uh, sanatorium on the mountain. Is sad. He be hiding there? Here. My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for I mean, we're headed back to the mountain. With all the Washingtons tonight, tell us not son Josh, to. on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance on the anniversary of well. Washington. I don't. Uh, well, hello, not the smartest friends idea. and fans. All right, let's do that again. Somehow everyone's okay with it. Somehow we're all doing it. All right. Well, it's hello, Mr. friends and fans. It's beyond yeah, awesome to have you guys all back this year. We'll just um, first call off, name, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my it. pals back we'll to the all annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after Running what happened back. last year. Okay. Sounds I just believable. want you all to know, um, <laughs> it means Mr. Robot. Is that even a so good, much uh, to me that I we're doing this. Good and that. A lot of people tell me to watch that. 
I know it would mean yeah, I have, so no, much to Hannah honestly, and Beth that we're you world telling world me about, uh, together. World also. And I'm thinking I, of that. I don't know about that one either. I really want to spend some quality My time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget. That's what that sounds like exactly. I don't think. For the sake of my sister. That was a terrible description. You know. He knows things I might Okay, like, so. But Jurassic let's Park without the like dinosaurs? Let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Park. Make this one trip. We will never forget. Something Jurassic Park. Right? It just sounds like an island. Yes! <laughs> yeah. It's an empty zoo, basically. So is it like minus the dinosaurs, but plus bears or something? Like, no. Until dawn. Okay, okay. Blue machete, bro. I'm curious as to why he's just chilling there behind me. He's a park ranger, that's why he always starts watching people. He's trying to do his job. Park rangers don't carry Sam machetes. Is diligent. She's Hannah's best friend. She's considerate and adventurous. Hannah's best friend. Where was she to save Hannah? Hello? Or stop the prank? She's in the bathroom. Someone stop there? the prank! She's in the bathroom. She could have waited to pee. She really had to pee. Sounds like you're giving her an alibi. Sounds like you're trying to look for a reason to dislike her. I don't know. Someone's gotta be disliked here. She's got a great hat. She does have a great hat. I'll give her that. I mean, we should all have one of those hats winter time. It is winter time. It's really cold today. Yeah, no, it was very cold. Very cold and rainy. Um, I guess I could have used one of those hats. Looks like we got a gate with a note on it. Oh, what? It's Dude. busted. Climb over. Smell you later. Chris. Thanks, Chris. What's on the back? What did you... He wrote it on something. Where did you get this from, it's sir? It's like a test document from, a, from an XP printer. Well, then. I want to bust the gate open. I think Sam's got superpowers. Is that, I, think, I don't think that's an option. Is that the... Come on. Oh, Jesus, never mind. No. Nope. No superpowers today. She tried. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna climb Someone's this wall. Someone's glowing on the left, maybe that's your option. I'm going to climb it. We're gonna go quickly. Sam's, Sam looks like she's quick. Quickly now, quickly. Whoa! Oh. Jump, jump, jump. We're jump. climbing. Name. Even though she just jumped anyway. Y'all be jumping. Jumping today. Yes. I mean, I give her props for climbing the wall, though. She's got some upper body strength. Yeah, no, she's clearly doing her thing, and I can appreciate that. I mean... I mean, maybe I could have climbed over the wall, but who knows? Aww. Hey, risk it, Bella. Right? Yeah, would have rather you just hungry? bust the gate open, you know? Huh? Oh, one of these. Uh, I didn't move the controller. Sammy. Let's come on. Hey, 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 it's okay. That's it. Come on. I'm back, squirrel. I just want to feed you. <laughs> that was just feeding a squirrel. I'm sure it comes up in much more crucial, terrifying moments. Well, it's one of those obvious, like, teaching mechanic things. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to find out what else I'm going to have to use it for. Oh, just a little 
Sam's status. Uh, oh, look at that. I can move her head. I want to say the Alien game had a similar feature to that, like, don't move thing. Like, when you're hiding from the alien. Yeah. It's an interesting mechanic. It's a cool mechanic for horror games, for sure. I'd like to see that, like, implemented into, like, VR, like, tracking the lights on the headset, like, don't move, you know what I mean? Well, looks like, uh, here's our totems explained. <laughs> here's a plaque on a wall explaining the collectibles in this video game. Pretty much, I mean, talking about butterflies, but... But it's our totems. Yeah. I believe. I mean, as we explained we before, you got yeah. death, danger, loss, guidance, and fortune. All seem pretty self-explanatory. And looks like we got one right here. That's a yellow one, which was what? If... I think you just gotta pick it up. Yellow is guidance. No, it's still on the tutorial. Oh, okay. Now I can pick it up. They're underestimating how fast I can read. Yeah, I know, right? I'm reading a third grade level. Doesn't everybody? No, most people are much better than that. I would hope at least. I don't know. That's giving people credit. Yeah. I, I think I tend to give credit where credit is most certainly not due. You never know. Could be due, but... Typically, no. Chris? Okay, here we go. You here? No Chris. But we got a backpack and a door over there. Look through Let's shit. check the backpack. You're not in the bag, are you? <laughs> and he's not in the bag. Come on. Does it look like a person could fit in that bag? See, this is why we don't like her. Come on, Sam. How silly. Snoop or close the bag? Uh. I think I'm gonna. I don't snoop, man. That's not me. I think I'm gonna close it. They don't call me Snoop Dogg, you know? Uh, I'm gonna close it. I don't need to know what's going on. So you got a butterfly effect thing there. Yes. We could probably... Chris! Sam! I believe we can see what that affected quickly. Yeah, check it out. I mean, oh, you got the first half bit, yeah, so... Yeah, we got first. Let's see where it leads. And this is Chris. He's got a crush on Ashley. He's methodical. We've not Active met him yet. Humorous. We're gonna get him together with this Ashley girl. We make magic for oh, fictional folk. So Someone's gotta have it. I think you got the second half of that effect. Why? Let's see what the second half is. So it looks like, since I respected the privacy, Chris was happy to see me. Alright. I don't think that's how that works. There's gotta be another... I believe there's another... So, come on. It's this way. ...effect on there. Where? Right around here. Gonna blow your mind. Status update. Yes, so, yeah. If you see Chris, it's a slightly past that white line. Oh, you um, up yeah, gotcha. which uh, does is helpful in the game for uh, later paths and saving characters, I believe. Cool, um, cool, cool. So that could help us. Oh, Got a clue, a clue, a clue. Nice. You think we'll get a visit from America's most wanted? Victor Milgram. Looks like someone thought so. Oh come on, this place is abandoned most of the year. Wait, he was last here? seen very long ago. Yeah, I don't think he'll run into that fella. I mean, maybe he's our killer. That's it. It was Victor. Our killer is, uh... Ta-da! Bob Saget. Red, right? And here we are. Come on, My turn. We will pass uh, off the controller. This is not the word that comes to now mind. I am become Chris. Why is this even here? What do you mean? You now what are Chris. What the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of the ski lodge? Uh, what is a shooting range? Met what do you think of your shooting range? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like true, but well, why... She's got a point. Why is it just chilling there? And a gum was just chilling there. All right. I mean, here goes. For all we know, Chris brought that. I mean, I would like to think it was that. I like to believe it was inside the locked lodge, like because Chris has the key, I think. But the thing is, he he came out from that area and then brought her back there. Now. This is kind of a shooting mini game. I still. Very simple. I'm very good at it. Much skill. Too much skill. I still a loaded wow, gun. Just chill in there. I mean right, what bad. if Victor Milgram was just bad. chilling around? I'm gonna go ahead and get Both Sam and Chris dead. Nah, I don't think so, girl. Boom shot. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. 
Oh no, not the squirrel. It's that same squirrel, I assume. I mean, why would there be more than one squirrel here? Yeah, it makes no sense. I'm not gonna shoot the fucking squirrel. We we don't shoot animals. That ain't me, man. <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> oh, got her. Hey, sharp okay, right so. Wait, I'm just another getting the hang of this. Thing. Come on, Chris, the cable car. I'm not gonna menu up for all of those, but it's just cool to point out. Eventually, we'll look through them again. Yeah. Just to see what we've got updated here. I believe that one brings my status up with Sam for, you know, not shooting a fucking animal. You know, like a savage. Man, it is. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. I mean, I two of their friends died. Yeah, that's weird. And well, now they're coming there. back. Uh, they're, they're coming back <laughs> to, um. Out. He said that? What I, I guess. It's know. not a celebration, like but it's creepy. it kind of is, and that's weird. Yeah, see, Chris had the key, so I'd like to imagine the gun Thank wasn't you. there. Oh, real I mean, I, I, I don't, I don't think so. I think it was just sitting around. People are very careless. I don't think it would fire if it was sitting out there in the cold. Like, the slide would be frozen. Okay, I'll give you that. I'm using some logic here. But it's not like it's that much warmer in here. Yeah, but, like, it wouldn't be sitting wait. out in open it's snow and ice. Choose. How long is this gonna take? What a crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. They're not so rich. They only bought a mountain. <laughs> A sense of sarcasm in Sam. Buying a whole mountain. I mean, I can't buy a whole mountain. I... I don't know. Why don't we save up for one? That sounds like... We'll like build our pipe, own lodge. Like pipe dream. Well... Can't we just, like, build a resort somewhere tropical? No. We're going into a mountain now. I don't want to go to a mountain. Unless the mountain's a volcano. Finally. Coming? Okay. Not, not we an active one, but I was gonna stay here we could look into it. Days, okay. What are the property costs of buying a volcano? <laughs> the prom. Now, they just got in the cable car, but who sent the cable car? For all they know, it could be the killer. Right. Again. But someone had to send it down, did they not? I don't think that's how that works. I think you can call from the console down there. I don't know. Yeah, no, he definitely did. They're going into a trap. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I'm kind of worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? I don't really think this was a good idea either. This is definitely not a good. Not a good idea. I'm, I'm with you know Sam what? on let's this. Just, let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, you know what, you're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So, I got moved to the back. That's just not rude. And next to Josh. In the third grade, he's snapping a girl's bra. Would uh, would you, you do that? Match made in heaven. No, I, I, I can't put myself in the headspace of me in the third grade. Quite honest with you, <laughs> probably not. I mean, I just don't think that's something I would do in the third grade. It's a quiet stuff. I mean, no, you could be riding in this cable car alone right now. Without that story, Chris wouldn't have met Josh. Without that story, butterfly effect. We would have. Butterfly effect. Reference, butterfly effect. Yeah. And also, that would have been a very quiet cable car ride. I mean, Sam also could have been taking the cable car by herself. Actually, go even further than that. This whole trip would not have ever happened. Oh, look, it's Jess. Mike's new girlfriend. She's trusting, okay. confident, and irreverent. Reverend. What a girl. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. So, see, new people, nice to meet and greet. 
But she was there in the prologue. Was she? Yes. That's weird. We'll get to the bottom of that. I think she just means like new people, new arrivals. Oh, I I guess. I guess. But either way, that's going to call it for episode one. Yeah. So, uh, like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Uh, You can check out some more info down in the description. And uh, we'll see you next time as we continue our endurance run of Until Dawn. Thanks for stopping by. Good night.